In this video, we're going to take a look at creating 3D reliefs on a rotary in Carvco Maker. Now to do this, you need to create a new rotary model. And you can do that by selecting the file drop down, selecting new, and then selecting a rotary model. Under cylinder dimensions, this is the size of your stock that you're working to. So let's say my diameter Let's say it's three inches and the length of six inches. The rotary axis, that's basically the orientation that your rotary is at. So if it's left to right on the machine as you look at it, then it's in the X axis. Front to back, then it's in the Y axis. So make sure that you select the correct orientation. If you don't, you'll see straight away that it's the wrong way around. You've got the units of measurement and you've also got the resolution. Now the resolution is actually quite important for this because we're going to be importing 3D reliefs and we want to keep that detail. So select OK and this will create a new rotary model for us as you can see here. Now to unwrap this what you need to do is go over to here and you can see that you've got toggle rotary or flat. So if I click that it toggles between the two. So if I unwrap that and take a plan view of it, you can see that I've got basically a flat sheet. Now what I want to do is import some reliefs or I can import an STL. It's entirely up to you. What I'm going to do is go to my clip art library and I've got some reliefs that I have here. And what I want to do is import this flourish. So let's We'll take that around, let's say about there. And let's see what this is like mirrored. So I'll do over model, let's say like that. Probably make it a little bit smaller. Say like that. And then let's go over the model again. Like that. Okay, so that looks quite cool. So let's go to transform that and let's let's do this let's say like quarter inch high and click apply. When you're doing these, there are two things that you need to bear in mind. If you're leaving this relief standing proud, so basically you're machining all of this away, then what the program will do, it will shrink the reliefs in order to keep that stock thickness that you specified at the start. If you're machining into it, then it won't matter. You won't need to do that. It will make a bit more sense in a moment. So if I paste that down, you can see that I've got my relief there. So if I wrap that, you can see this is wrapped around that rotary. I'm probably going to add something else to this. Let's add a texture to this. So if I were to come down, I think I've got a weave texture. So what I'm going to do is just make that really large. Let's say like so. And then let's make that one mil. So 40 fair, and then make sure that I'm on merge high and paste that down. And you can see that I've got this texture on there. So if I wrap that around now, you can see that I've got this nice texture. Right, so to machine this, what we need to do is go to toolpaths, and rather than do 2D toolpaths, we need to do a 3D toolpath. So it needs to be a machine relief. Right, so what's actually happened here as I tried to explain earlier, if I go to Untitled, the diameter that I specified originally was 3 inches. So if I go to New Rotary Model, you can see the diameter that I specified was 3 inches. And that's denoted here. But the diameter that I actually have is 3.5 inches. And that's because I've added all of this material on there. So Either side of this relief, I've added a quarter of an inch. So if you remember, when I pasted this flourish down, I've done it quarter of an inch high. And because it's on both sides, the diameter is now three and a half inches. 
So if I were to try to machine this now, it wouldn't actually machine properly because my stock is smaller than what I actually have on here. So that was what I was talking about where Carveco Make will automatically shrink this in for you. So if I do whole relief, finishing options, let's choose, let's say, 16th of an inch tool and let's define my material so again as before you need this to be half of the diameter so what I need to do is set that at 1.5 inches and make sure that you got the material Z at the top and this model position at the top also select OK and then that basically sets up the stock for me so you can see around here this is the material stock and it shrunk the model in to fit so if you take a look here the diameter max is now three inches which is correct that's what i want so it shrunk that model in so it fits in there now so if i click calculate now this will machine this around that rotary Simulate this, do it with the control bar if I want to, and press play. Let's fast forward that so it comes around this edge. And you can see it's giving me a simulation of what's going to be machined. So if I close that and just do a straightforward fast simulation, you can see show me what's going to be machined and again I can change this to be a material now if I go back into the machine relief let's delete the simulation let's wrap it again go back into the machine relief I can also do anything that I would on a free axis bit of machining so if I wanted to change the angle to 90 or 45 I can do that and then it will go the opposite way I can also add a roughing tool to this if I wanted to so let's say I wanted to add a 3 8 of an inch end mill and then click calculate and this will add that roughing and it will automatically do that for me So if I just turn off the light bulb for the finishing, you can see that it's given me a roughing tool path. So let me simulate just that one. And then I've got my finishing tool path. So let's just do a fast simulation on that one. And you can see my finished piece. So when you're happy with that, just save the toolpaths and then select the rotary post for your machine. And that's how you do 3D reliefs on a rotary within Carveco Maker.